series we're going to focus on our new approach to 1v1 which is one section of our pyramid of player development. We're going to introduce our new 1v1 moves pyramid. This has three parts. Number one, changes of direction. Number two, stops and starts. Number three, feints. In many of these drills and games Coaches can help the players understand where and when to make these moves. And while we don't have all the answers, we're going to suggest to you where these moves work best, which part of the field, when to use them. This we call our how, where, when approach. The how is the skill. The where is which part of the field. And the when is the position of the opponent. Is the opponent in front, to the side, or behind? In curve coaching, we teach all the skills, especially the moves, in what we call a step-by-step -step approach. Step one, no pressure. This is just repetition, learning the technique through constant repetition. Step two, limited pressure. This is when the opponent is more helper, not an opponent. The opponent does not try to tackle, but there is pressure. And finally, the third part is full pressure, when there's 100% tackling. The twist off, an extension of the inside cut. The turn shields the ball. Cut, turn, accelerate. U-turn step over, a useful double move. Skill drill three, limited pressure. A good exercise for young players to experience opponents shadowing them. Players change roles of attacker and defender. The defender not trying to win the ball. These players have reached the stage where much of what they do has become a natural part of their game. Their peripheral vision has developed along with their ball handling skills and opponents have to work hard to break them down. Confidence has grown and their reactions to challenges are positive and spontaneous. Great change of direction skills and agility. A hook turn. A wave for the crucial half yard and a hard won goal. Hop as if to stop, but wave the kicking foot over the ball and push in the original direction. Fake inside cut. Kill drill number nine. Limited pressure, no tackling. The defender cannot move until the attacker touches the ball. The attacker tries to beat the opponent to the end line or back to the start line, depending on the moves he chooses. Skill drill number 10, full pressure, two cone goals, Very good. a simple pass and overlap run by the defender to start. The attacker must get over the halfway line to shoot or dribble through either of the goals. A shot from inside the line is good, but a dribble through the goal right. is even better. The players show some excellent Very skills good. now, Beautiful. realizing which moves work hey, best go. for them on the run. During my 19 years as a professional football player, I was exposed to many different methods and ideas all over the world. I first became involved with cover coaching as a teenager, and from then on in, I used it as part of my daily routine. For me, the best method there is, is cover coaching. If you want to develop technical, top quality players, then cover is definitely the method to use. Part 2 will feature feints. 